What dogs should we be cautious around? Um, someone say all of them? Yep. You're right. All of them. If they have teeth, they can bite. All right? I can bite. I got teeth. Right? So any dog, there's no breed restrictions for what we should be cautious about. If they've got teeth, they bite. I don't care if it's a 10-pound Yorkie or a 70-pound Rottweiler. If they have teeth, we have to use caution, and that's the biggest misconception. People think, I have a lab. I don't have to worry. It's not true. They've got teeth. They're animals. Um, any animal should be taken with caution. So the first thing we're going to talk about is basically preparing for a new member of your family, babies. All right. Lots needs to go into preparing your home for a new arrival. Um, basic commands. I can't stress to you how important it is to have your dog just understand some simple basic commands. It um, eliminates so many frustrations when you're dealing with your dog. With Kalua, I can tell her, Jenna's going to show you, just tell her down, okay? She can tell her, lay down, okay? When she tells her to down, she can tell her to wait. If she tells her to wait, Kalua's going to sit there and wait until Jenna gives her a release word. She's lazy, <laughs> all right? But she's got control of the dog. She's not sitting there pushing her off of her lap while you have a kid on your lap. She's able to tell the dog, lay down and wait for me, okay? Being able to control the dog is a huge part of eliminating that frustration that you may have with them in your house. Babies, kids, if you all have them, you know how chaotic they are, all right? They're all over the place. It's hard enough to control a little one. Never mind, then you're controlling your dog. Well, if you have control of one, you eliminated half of your frustrations. So one of our biggest commands that we're going to use with um, babies in general and toddlers is our easy or gentle. And we're going to kind of show you how we practice this. We're going to tell them to be gentle, okay? Being gentle around kids is what you want them to do. So if you can tell your dog to be gentle and they don't have to master these commands. They can just understand them. They don't have to be Kalua, who's been working for years. They just have to understand them enough to where they go, this is what mom and dad want me to do. So by having your dog understand a few commands, it eliminates almost half of your frustrations right there. So even if I have a doll and it sits in Jenna's lap, okay? If I have a doll and I, Kalua's already knows this doll is a baby, okay? She knows that she is not to be all in this baby's space. All right, Kalua, come on, come on. So I'm gonna tell her gentle. Look at how nice that nose is. And every time she's gentle, Jenna's gonna reward the dog. It's as simple as that. We tell her gentle, we reward the dog for being gentle. If she was being rough, too much nose poking, um, grabbing at the baby, we don't get rewarded. We tell her gentle. The second she actually gives me a gentle nose or stands here like this, or does that, she gets rewarded. So our first step is basic obedience training. Very, very simple, okay? Dogs are incredibly smart. She's got about a 40 word vocabulary and it's not hard to teach. You're looking at maybe 10. Very simple for a dog to get. You'll also want a safe place for your dog to retreat. I can't stress this enough. Your dog has to have something like a crate, okay? Something where it's safe, that the baby, toddler, me, I'm not allowed in it, okay? If they have a crate or a bed, that's the dogs, okay? They have to have their own space. It's not fair for them to think that they have to share everything with this new baby. They get their own thing too. And the safest thing to do is their crate. When you're coming home from the hospital, try not to take your dog and board them. Okay, don't remove the dog from the house. You wanna make sure that your dog stays in their environment. Less stress on the dog, the better. Um, have some family members bring receiving blankets home so that they can start smelling the baby before the baby gets in there. Um, one big thing is too, have mom come in. Greet the dog without the baby, all right? 
and then reward the dog in the presence of the baby. That baby comes in, they don't have to go meet them, but reward them just for seeing a carrier, okay? Remember, baby equals good things. Good things in a dog's brain is a treat. So treat that dog when it sees a baby, okay? And then your first interaction with the baby is one of the most important things that you can do. Um, parents tend to panic because they're nervous. They're thinking, ah, something's gonna happen. I don't know what to do. I'm a new parent, a dog, lots of overwhelming things. But do not panic. Um, if you panic, it's going to send a message to your dog of anxiety. Jenna's going to show you a, a loose leash. So with Kahlua, if you're uncomfortable, you know, your baby's coming in, put your dog on a leash. So with Kahlua, this is a nice loose leash, okay? This is comfortable. Um, there's no stress going on. Now, if Jenna stops and has an interaction and she's nervous, like, <gasps> She's going to go after the baby, right? Jenna's nervous. Okay, all that does is send a signal to the dog through the leash that we have anxiety. Mom's nervous, okay? Nice loose leash, not anxious dog, okay? So if she's on a loose leash, there, look at how comfortable she is. The second she tightens that leash up, Clue is going, see her look at her? Something's wrong. Something's not okay. So during your first interaction, you want to have a nice, loose, confident leash. First interactions are incredibly hard to undo, okay? If you send a signal of anxiety to your dog, they're going to think something about this I should be anxious about. So you want to try to avoid sending that signal to your pet, okay? They read your body language, they read your signals, avoid those signals. So some situations to avoid. Like I said, everyone thinks these are cute, right? Adorable. You see these all over the, on the internet and Facebook. Uh, but your infant should never be propped up against the dog for photos. Um, again, you're forcing the baby onto the dog. That, the dog's not going to them for this. These are obviously staged where you've got the baby going to the dog. You never want to do that. Same thing, these kind of interactions with the baby, uh, they're not controllable by the adult. If something happens to this, you can't control it, okay? There's no way of pulling back fast enough before an incident happens. I look at photos all day and they make me nervous as anything, okay? These make me nervous because there's no control. Look at that leash, how tight that leash is, okay? So you do not want to allow interactions like this, okay? You can't control the dog enough. You can't control the situation enough. You have to be able to control your situation. One last thing before questions is basically that um, I always hear from everyone who has, has a great dog, even Kahlua, my husband likes to say it, my dog will let those kids do anything to them. Yeah, just because they let it doesn't mean you should allow it. So one of the biggest things I can tell you is just because your dog's okay with it doesn't mean they should have to put up with it. Um, kids are overwhelming. It's a lot to handle. Just because they're good about it doesn't mean that they should have to take it, okay? It's up to us to know the boundaries of that's enough, okay? The dog needs their space. Give them a break, okay? They shouldn't have to just be putting up with everything that your kids put out to them, okay? They should be able to rest, have time alone, be a dog, be with humans, and not just be putting up with kids all day, okay? It's like you and me getting stuck in a house with three children all day, you don't want to just put up with it, right? You want your own space too. So you have to give the same respect to the dogs. Dogs will be happy, humans will be happy, the kids will be happy.